Hello everybody, my name is Trollmaker, and today we're going to talk about armor, and what has been going on in the game. Uh, so this is a method that's become very popular in the game, and it is a way of getting really, really high armor with very light loads, and this will allow you to uh, survive on much lighter wheels, so you can definitely throw in more weapons and more uh, better cubes, something worth investing in. And so this is very simple what I did. I just link these guys like this. You're using less cubes, less money. Uh, this is one way of doing your round of the thing, uh, of the ship, and it'll work out very, very well for you. Uh, yes. There's also another type of cube you can use. Not as good, but it'll get the job done if you have to have them. Uh, they're these... Uh, really wonky little cubes. You can use them all sideways and whatnot. Uh, one distinct advantage to them is that they do have a full face, uh, which will work out quite well for you. And they actually allow you to build on top of the empty face. So, uh, you know, hypothetically, if you want to throw a pilot seat on there, you totally can. Once again, these are lighter cubes, which means you can use cheaper wheels, but they have the same armor value as the full-size cubes. So that's just one example of maximizing your armor. Alright, so another important factor is the protection of the chair. Once the chair is destroyed, so are you. If you lose the blocks directly under the chair, you also lose the chair. So let's say, for example, there's a fire off right here, this spot here. Oops! Now this block here is automatically destroyed. No further damage goes to it, it just kind of flies off. The damage, however, will spread on these faces, these sides here. And so it travels towards the chair until, oops, you've lost your chair. So, you need to create a method of doing your chair so that it's a longer path to destroy the chair. So, what we're going to do is use these prisms. These nice triangle things. Uh, so, to start off, we have to have one connected. So, there we go. There's a connected one. Awesome. Actually, you know what? Do a different connected one. Let's go with this guy. That guy's connected. Uh, then we can do a sideways one like these. Is that it? No, it's like that. There we go. And then a nice sideways one like this. And we can go up. And we can go sideways. And we can go down. And... You know spinning around in a circle, basically. So that it becomes very difficult for any kind of shot that hits any of these triangle pieces to travel to the chair. Now, given the setup I have right now, the damage will go this way. Keep in mind, none of these sides are really connected to the chair. None of them. It'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, then so on and so forth. It will spin around the chair until finally it knocks off this guy and your two damage things here. That will keep you alive much, much longer than the uh, regular block method. Now, the downside is that you can't really build on these things. Like, you can try all you want. There's no way to really build on them unless you have a flat surface like this. So that's a big downside of design. And this really only works with the chair. 